Uh, I think probably the best way to start is with Donald Trump's tweet after having the conversation with uh, Reince Priebus. Uh, he essentially said it was a, a, a congratulatory um, a conversation more than anything else. Now, the RNC is calling this a respectful conversation. They have to walk a line because the Republican Party, especially since the presidential cycle of 2012, has been trying to make inroads to Latino voters. The overarching concern is that Trump's comments are hurting as opposed to helping. Trump is saying Chairman Priebus did not chastise him per se, but Trump is admitting the subject of his comments on immigration did come up during that brief conversation. So uh, different characterizations about the same thing, the RNC trying to walk a line on this and Trump saying uh, it was more or less congratulatory, Brianna. And our own Jeremy Diamond, political reporter here with me now, you just actually got off the phone with Donald Trump, right? Yeah, what it, did was he an, it was an interesting conversation. I mean, you know, we had all of this reporting saying that you know, Donald Trump had been told by the RNC chief to basically tone it down to stop with his immigration comments. And then I get on the phone with Trump and he's like, oh, it was a congratulatory call. Let's be, let's be real here. That's what happens. He was congratulating me. He said that uh, Priebus said he's never seen anything like it. He was talking about his surge in the polls to, to number two uh, right behind Jeb Bush. Okay, let's listen to part of the call. Here we are. It was a very nice call, and it was really more of a congratulatory call. He, he said, you know, how well we're doing, and you saw we went to number one in, in uh, various polls, and uh, he talked about how well we're doing and uh, how he's literally not seen anything like this, and it was a very nice call. It lasted for probably 10 minutes, maybe a couple of minutes more than that, and uh, that was the end of the, the, the call.